Kurt has been video blogging for 10 years, but his views max out at double digits. The guy works as a cab driver and decides to promote his channel in an extreme way he starts killing passengers. A young man named Kurt runs an online social media platform called Kurt's World. He shares his journey, starting from when he and his family relocated from Los Angeles to Azusa. Throughout this period, he's constantly active on social media, sharing his life live 24 7, including moments with his pets and his father in the studio. He talks about his parents' separation, his time living with his mother, and how he discovered a passion for video games, which he also shares online. He ventures into various activities in an effort to establish himself in the social media world. He tries creating music, reviews products, and even takes up babysitting. The children he babysits provide plenty of entertaining content, especially a teenager named Bobby. Bobby is a popular online gamer who live streams his gaming sessions. Nevertheless, Kurt continues to explore new avenues, eventually working as a spree driver, shuttling passengers to their destinations. After a decade of striving for social media recognition, Kurt finds himself still struggling to attract a significant following or fan base. Despite numerous attempts to gain popularity, his efforts have been largely fruitless, leading him to a state of isolation as he confronts the reality that his endeavors have not paid off. After a while, he uploads a video announcing that he's come up with a groundbreaking idea he believes will captivate viewers and propel him to internet fame. He labels this plan the lesson which he intends to execute from his car's front seat. In April 2019, Kurt finally achieves viral status. In his video, he directly addresses his viewers, introducing himself as Kurt. In the next scene, he is in his car's back seat, explaining that he has prepared water bottles for his passengers. He emphasizes the importance of setting up a camera to capture everything. He then heads out to see his mother, remaining on camera. When his mother calls out to him, he chases after her, and subsequently, he returns, placing a bracelet on the rearview mirror. Kurt then begins his journey as a driver for a ride-sharing service, picking up his first passenger, a man named Frederick, who needs to get to Highland Park. Frederick notices the multiple cameras in the car and questions their purpose. Kurt replies that the cameras are for his safety. As they converse, Frederick shares that he is scheduled to speak to an audience of 3,000 people, impressing Kurt with his extensive reach. However, it soon emerges that Frederick holds white supremacist and racist beliefs, urging Kurt to agree that one race is superior to others. Kurt firmly rejects his views, insisting that such ideas are unacceptable. He then mentions that Bobby Budley is currently live, transitioning the focus to Bobby and his antics, which include riding a hoverboard and snatching people's phones for amusement, among other activities. Given Bobby's significant influence, Frederick's prejudiced remarks are likely to alienate him, potentially causing Kurt's social media popularity to suffer. Kurt starts driving recklessly to entertain his audience. This causes Frederick to panic and become breathless. Kurt suggests he drink from a water bottle and Frederick, feeling uneasy, takes a sip. He notes the water taste is odd, but Kurt dismissively ignores his comment. It's then disclosed that Kurt has laced all the water bottles with poison. Back in the car, Frederick starts to cough violently and struggles to open the door, but it's locked. His attempts to escape are futile, and he eventually suffocates and dies in the back seat, while Kurt watches with a twisted sense of pleasure, signaling his victory with a hand gesture. Kurt ominously states that Frederick was just the first of many targets. For his next ride, he picks up a woman named Andrea. She hastily places her belongings in the trunk and takes a seat inside the car, caught up in a tense phone argument with her husband. Without hesitation, she drinks from one of the water bottles and soon falls unconscious in the back seat. Kurt then exploits the situation by taking her phone, conducting what he views as a thrilling escapade. He ignores a call from his father, gives himself a five-star rating from Andrea's phone, and crudely responds to text messages from her worried husband. Kurt is in his car, from which comes horrible music that he calls own creation. A passenger in the back seat tries to ignore the noise, but Kurt insists on sharing that he's the one behind the dreadful mix playing. He seems to take pleasure in the absurdity of his music. Caught in traffic, the passenger grows restless, mentioning he needs to get somewhere. At this moment, a notification for another ride request appears on Kurt's ride-sharing app. Deciding to pick up the additional passenger, Kurt diverts to a new route 
much to the annoyance of his current passenger, Mario, who protests. Kurt dismissively informs him that he opted for the spree social ride option, implying shared rides are part of the deal. As they navigate to the designated pickup spot, they spot Jesse, the next passenger, waiting. Upon seeing the car, Jesse hesitates and starts to walk away. Mario encourages Kurt to go after her, and despite her canceling the ride, Mario convinces her to get in. Once Jesse is settled, Kurt turns the music up again, leading Mario to demand he turn it off. With the music lowered, Mario recognizes Jesse as a well-known comedian with a massive following. Kurt perks up, engaging in conversation about her success. Meanwhile, Mario starts recording a video, excitedly announcing he's in the car with Jesse Adams. This unwelcome attention angers Jesse, sparking an argument between her and Mario. Jesse decides to broadcast live on Instagram, revealing Mario's annoying behavior by showing his frustrated expression to her followers. During their heated exchange, Mario comments that Jesse's Instagram fame has gone to her head. Kurt abruptly halts the vehicle and orders Mario to leave. Instead, Jesse exits, dousing Mario with water from a bottle before storming off. Following this awkward situation, Kurt and Mario resume their journey. Kurt drives down an isolated road, claiming it's a quicker route. Mario begins to feel sick and vomits, prompting Kurt to angrily suggest he step outside to freshen up. When Mario exits for a moment, Kurt deliberately backs the car into him, sending him flying onto the car's roof. That evening, with the car's interior LEDs lit, Kurt watches Jesse Adams perform her stand-up comedy routines online. Meanwhile, at a gas station, Kurt is filling up the car while Bobby livestreams, mockingly commenting on Kurt's content. A police officer nearby eyes Kurt with suspicion as he justifies his actions on the livestream. Bobby then recommends a YouTube video about aiding the homeless, revealing it's all staged. He suggests Kurt should try creating more thrilling content that would elicit a WTF reaction from viewers. That evening, Kurt picks up three passengers and speeds along a boulevard, causing them to become extremely anxious with his reckless driving. Despite their fear, he reassures them everything is under control. One of the women, impressed by his boldness, moves closer to him, captivated by his daring spirit. Kurt then suggests they head to a remote spot for an adventure, to which they all agree excitedly. Upon arriving, he encourages those in the back to pop out through the sunroof and savor the moment. The couple does just that, going live on Instagram to share their thrill. Meanwhile, the woman named London sits next to Kurt as he shares stories of his childhood in the area. As they chat, he suddenly accelerates, crashing through a gate into a junkyard. He then urges London to lean out the window to take in the surroundings. However, the situation quickly turns dire as they are ambushed by aggressive pit bulls. London screams in terror, scrambling back inside the car, while Kurt hastily rolls up the windows to protect the couple on the roof from the dogs that have now climbed up and are attacking them. Following this gruesome episode, the next scene shows Kurt at a car wash, erasing the evidence of his crimes. He calls Bobby to boast about his horrific deeds, but Bobby dismissively comments that it's insignificant since no one witnessed it. Frustrated, Kurt exits the car wash and begins to scroll through Jesse Adams' online content. He notices she's gone live on Instagram her content, though mundane to him, features her visiting a comedy club and spending time with her grandmother, yet attracts hundreds of viewers. Feeling envious, Kurt voices his frustration about Jesse attracting so much attention with minimal effort while he's putting in significant work to gain fame, deeming it utterly unfair. Simultaneously, Jesse is at her place, pondering over an address as Kurt goes live, approaching a house and ringing the doorbell during her live stream. Jesse, wary of the late hour visitor, heads downstairs to find an unexpected guest. Meanwhile, it's unveiled that Kurt is actually at Bobby's residence, broadcasting live as he confronts him. Kurt demands Bobby introduce him properly on the live stream. Bobby mercilessly mocks Kurt, exposing him to the viewers as a former babysitter turned fame-obsessed maniac, engaging in dangerously unlawful acts for the sake of attention. Despite Bobby's harsh words, Kurt reacts violently, stabbing him while continuing to stream the altercation live. The audience reacts with a mix of disbelief and amusement, some dismissing it as a stunt, while others are captivated by the drama. Meanwhile, Kurt is broadcasting himself taking a shower live, 
ecstatic to see over 100 viewers tuning in. After drying off, he boasts about commandeering Bobby's streaming setup and going live from his account, attracting around 4,000 viewers. He receives a message from his father asking for a ride to the club to meet Uno, a well-known influencer. During the ride, Kurt and his dad argue about his mom, and the discussion heats up when his dad discovers a gun in the glove compartment. Kurt justifies it as a precaution for his safety, citing potential dangers from his ride-sharing job. Ignoring traffic laws, Kurt speeds through red lights, eventually arriving at the club, which turns out to be a strip club, not the dance club they expected. There, they encounter Uno and her companions. Kurt persuades Uno to feature in his live stream, which leads to a flurry of comments about Uno's attractiveness. Later, Kurt departs the club and finds Uno asking for a ride to a taco truck. They head to the location, and while waiting, Kurt takes photos of Uno, capturing the moment. Uno retrieves a gun from the dashboard and takes a selfie, simultaneously going live. Meanwhile, Kurt picks up their food. Upon returning to the car, Uno drinks from an already present water bottle, begins coughing, and soon falls unconscious. Just then, Kurt notices two police officers approaching. They ask him to step out for a sobriety test. As one officer approaches Uno, she suddenly regains consciousness. Confused and alarmed, she pulls out the gun and fatally shoots one of the officers before running off. Kurt quickly gets back into his car, now pursued by the police. He recklessly drives on the wrong side of the highway, live streaming the entire chase, thrilled by the growing number of viewers watching his perilous maneuvers. The chase ends when Kurt exits the highway, boasting on his live stream, only to crash his car in a construction site, flipping it upside down. The narrative then shifts to joke bros, where Miles struggles to entertain the audience, failing to elicit laughter. The atmosphere changes when Jesse Adams is introduced, her entrance generating excitement among the crowd, which she amplifies with her characteristic flair. Back on Kurt's live stream, the shock of his accident turns to astonishment as 30,000 viewers witness him miraculously surviving the crash. As Jesse performs Live, she takes a moment to share her unsettling experience with Kurt, unfolding the story to her audience and those following the live streams. During their spree ride, Kurt becomes agitated by Jesse's teasing and is on the verge of harming her. However, Jesse shifts her tone, sharing her own early struggles for recognition and her desperate attempts to gain attention. She then dramatically quits social media, symbolizing her decision by destroying her phone. This change of events leads Kurt to reconsider his actions, and he exits without causing harm. Meanwhile, backstage as Miles records Jessie, causing her frustration, she decides to leave. Kurt, needing to get away, hails a cab and during the ride, he deceitfully commandeers the vehicle from the elderly driver. Back at the club, Miles tries to persuade Jessie to let him take her home, but she opts for a taxi instead. To her surprise, the taxi driver is Curtis, who engages her in conversation, hinting at their previous encounter. Jesse becomes anxious as Curtis takes a detour, ignoring her pleas to stop. Her panic escalates when he mentions taking her to his place. In a desperate move, Jesse attempts to defend herself with a wire, leading to a scuffle that results in her losing consciousness. Curtis then positions her in front of the vehicle and disturbingly seeks his social media audience's advice on how to proceed with Jesse, offering options that are alarming. The majority vote for a grim outcome, but as he prepares to act, Jesse is nowhere to be found. Kurt exits the vehicle to search for Jesse, but she reappears, quickly getting into the car and attempts to hit Kurt, who makes a quick escape towards his home. Jesse follows in the car, ultimately crashing into Kurt's living room. As the car comes to a stop amidst the wreckage, Kurt confronts Jesse, leading to a physical altercation where she manages to strike back, and he flees to another part of the house. Jesse, shaken and disoriented, steps out of the car, only for Kurt's father to enter, visibly intoxicated and bewildered by the chaos. Jesse stumbles over a deceased woman, identified as Kurt's mother, leaving Kurt's father distraught. Kurt then retrieves a firearm from the vehicle, using it against his father. It is then disclosed that Kurt was responsible for his mother's demise. Jesse rushes to the car in an attempt to flee. Kurt aims the gun at her, but finds it unloaded. Jesse tries to reverse the car, but it jams, then forcefully drives forward, pinning Kurt against a wall. 
The online audience, eagerly watching, encourages Jesse to check on Kurt. She cautiously approaches, delivering a final blow to his face, all while being watched by 50,000 viewers. The story of Kurt Kunkel and his harrowing actions becomes a sensation, dominating social media trends and sparking widespread discussion. The end. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like our channel and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Also, let us know what movie you would love us to recap for you.